I recently did a video about Bill Cosby, and I put some perspective on it, but I want to do a part two about it, um, because I'm looking at the whole Bill Cosby situation again, and I'm seeing how they're trying to turn him into this black brute. And a lot of black people need to understand what a brute is. A brute is a old racist stereotype created in the post-Reconstruction South, and it was designed to um, make a statement about African American men who didn't, who weren't raised in slavery. They called them brutes. They created this brute image, saying that this black man is a violent sociopath, that he's a rapist and a monster, and that the only way to deal with the brute was to destroy him. Um, and in the case of Bill Cosby, what they're trying to do, white supremacy is trying to do, the white supremacist media is trying to do, is destroy him. Um, and this, these, these rape allegations are unsubstantiated. They're completely ridiculous. And they get more and more ridiculous every day because I was watching Inside Edition um, a couple of nights ago. And here we have Sammy Davis's Jr.'s mistress coming out and saying that Bill Cosby raped her, and the details weren't even adding up. And then you had Beverly Johnson also coming out and saying that he had so-called drugged her. And I'm listening to the details, and they're not adding up. And I'm listening to this, and I'm saying, you know, none of this adds up. I mean, if this man had did all of these rapes and sexual assaults like they had said he had did, white supremacy would have taken him out again. They would have just taken him out. And this is what they did with the brute. They often lynched black men who made when the allegations of rape were made um, against them. Entire towns such as Rosewood and Black Wall Street were burned down on the allegations of white women who said that they were raped by black men. And thousands of black men were lynched and thousands more were imprisoned. But we're supposed to believe that Bill Cosby got away with raping over 20 women and white supremacy was not going to do anything against it. Now even Emmett Till, if you go a little further back, I mean further along the timeline, Emmett Till was murdered for whistling at a white woman. He was tortured and murdered for whistling at a white woman. And we're supposed to believe that Bill Cosby is, and the sad part is a lot of, a lot of people actually believe this and a lot of black people believe this. And I think about so all the things that Bill Cosby has done, and no one's giving him the benefit of the doubt. I mean, Bill Cosby, he actually sent a lot of these women to college. A lot of the women making allegations against him, a lot of people don't understand. He sent a lot of these women to college. I mean, he even sent the woman, the daughter, I forget what her name is, of uh, the woman, after this was, it was around the 90s when his son, uh, early 2000 when his son got murdered. That same one of those one of those women who was trying to blackmail him, he was sending her daughter to college, and this man donated money to black schools, black universities, and I really don't like to to hear all this stuff about Bill Cosby because a lot of it isn't true, and also the man has done so much for black people and for black people to turn their backs on him, it, it's, it's just disturbing to me. I mean. I look at what he's done in education. He created the Fat Albert and worked with Filmation. He created the Cosby Show. And he has done a lot for black people. And for black people to turn their back on him is disturbing to me. Uh, because these allegations, they, they're unsubstantiated. And if it, the way I look at it is the way I look at it is just disturbing. And. They're, they're just unfounded, because I know Hollywood, and I know how Hollywood works, and it sounds like a lot of these chicks were victims of the casting couch. They thought, oh, I, I'm going to meet the celebrity, and he and I'm going to try to sell, I'm going to try to use pussy as a way to get leverage with him, because a lot of women think that a lot of women who come off the bus, on Greyhound bus on 7th Street, or coming out of Bob Hope Airport, they think that they can use sex in the same way that they did in their hometown in Hollywood. Not understanding that these men are millionaires and billionaires and that the price of pussy is not the same in Hollywood as it is in the rest of the world. Now, the games that they ran on these simps in their hometown, it didn't work in L.A. You could, 
women in, in Hollywood are a dime a dozen. Attractive women in Hollywood are a dime a dozen. And any man with some money can, can get laid. Even a guy who prints up some business cards and says he's a producer can get laid. It's not going to get you no leverage. And they probably thought that they could get with Bill Cosby and they was going to launch their career. Because I looked at the one on Inside Edition, and it looks like that's what it was about. That she was Sammy Davis Jr. side piece. She was already a side piece. And she thought, oh, I want to get with Bill Cosby. I mean, he gave me a bit part on a show, and it's going to try to launch my career. And these, these, these chicks think that, that, that being an actress is, um, that they're going to use that sex as a leverage, and it doesn't work in L.A. Because, again, attractive women are a dime a dozen. I mean, you can just walk down the block, you'll see a, attractive women. If you go down Hollywood or you go down a um, place like Burbank, you see them bagging groceries in the Ralph's or at the checker line at Ralph's. Um, and they thought they probably could get over on Bill Cosby, and the whole thing blew up in their face when they, and now they're old, and things ain't going, and their career, and it's like, there's no more simps, because when you look at women who are in their 50s and in their 60s, you don't have any more, you're not attractive anymore, you don't have the looks anymore, and you can't attract simps to you. Because that's what, that's what the Iceman said when did, about how simping works, that doesn't work out after over time. And it's one of the things that I understood. When you get a past a certain age, you can't get any more simps to trick on you anymore. Because a lot of these guys get older, they get more seasoned. And now these chicks are looking for a payday. So they're getting together with Gloria Allred and trying to get a payday out of the thing. Out of the whole Bill Cosby mess. But Bill Cosby has made so many contributions to the black community that I don't feel it's right that black people are just abandoning him. I mean, I've, I, when I wrote a blog about Bill Cosby, there are people talking about, oh, he's a part of such and such fraternity. I really don't care about any of that. I look at his contributions, and I look at his legacy, and I also look at the facts of the case, and that's why I continue to support Bill Cosby, because I see a black man being maligned when he has not done anything malicious. Yes, he committed adultery, but that's between him and Camille. That has nothing to do with us. And... I don't feel that he deserves to be maligned the way he has because, I mean, he didn't start maligning Bill Cosby until he started out with this come on people message telling black people to do for self. And I really do believe that this message is coming from white liberals who see that if, if people start listening to Bill Cosby, what's going to happen is that their way of life is going to, economic way of life is going to get disrupted. Because what a lot of black people don't understand is that the white liberal makes a ton of money off of black people. I mean, these government programs, these job training programs, um, public assistance, Section 8. If black people started doing for self, a lot of people who have these gov these landlords who have these Section 8 housing, they're going to lose money. Um, these government nonprofits, I mean, these nonprofits who get fake um, grants, they're going to lose money. Um, these grant makers are going to lose a bunch of money because they're not going to have any place to donate money to and hide in, in 5013C tax-free shelters. Um, these um, businesses, these foreign-owned businesses are going to lose because black people are going to start shopping with other black people. Again, the whole economic infrastructure, if black people started listening to people like Bill Cosby and started listening to um, people like, again, just listening to him, and started taking constructive action, that whole economic infrastructure totally changes. And that's what they don't want to happen. That's why they don't want black people to listen to a Bill Cosby. That's why they want to try to demonize him and marginalize him and then come out with these allegations saying that he's a brute and a monster when he was one of the best things that ever happened to black people. He's one of the best things that ever happened because he showed a role model of black manhood, of black male leadership. And... I, I look at it from his perspective. I mean, he made the Cosby Show, what, 30 years ago? Uh, 25 years ago when he made the first Come On People message? And you would think that black people would come and listen, see his message and try to build on what he tried to establish. Because I look at it, I grew up with the Cosby Show, and what I saw there was a role model for myself, and that's what made me want to be a publisher of positive black fiction. And I wanted to build on the legacy of a Bill Cosby and other black men such as himself. And I look at black men today, and well, if you look at his perspective as a man who's 65, 70 years old, 
I mean, he's 77, but at the time, he was like 65, 70 and, or so. And he looks at it and looks at black people. It's deeply saddening to him because he thought that he was building, he thought they was going to pick up and take the baton from him and build on that legacy. But when you look at black people, black men and women, they're not building on a legacy. They just actually, they, did, they actually just dropped the baton and decided to go back to the codependent situation with white supremacy. And that's, that I believe that he was deeply disappointed by that. And that's why he came out with the come on people message. And I, I listened to that message and it resonated with me because you would be disappointed if you spent your entire life trying to help educate black people and you spent money trying to send black people to college and you donated money to black colleges and you see this as what was left behind. You saw that none of the people who um, were supposed to pick up the baton picked up the baton. Because if you literally look at black people, they screwed up on the job. And I'll say that. They screw I've said it before in another video, that there is no gentrification. Black people screwed up on the job. And they didn't build. They expected somebody to do it for them. And... They didn't understand that if you don't do it for yourself, others will do it for you, and then you're going to be dictated to by those people. And this is what you're being dictated to. You're being dictated to by these white liberals. And that's what black... They don't like the idea of black people, of Bill Cosby coming out and saying, do for yourself, because the only person holding black people back is black people. And this is what we're seeing right now. And I look at these allegations, and it's just trying to demonize this man so that other black people won't have a role model to go after, a realistic role model to go after. And they, what they want to see is the black man as a, as, a, as, a, as a monster. They want to take, demonize black men who say, take responsibility for yourself and doing for yourself. Because the white liberal is making a bill, billions of dollars off of black men. And I can tell you, because I worked in nonprofit for a year, and there's, there's billions of dollars in grant money that is made off the suffering of, of black people. And there's billions of dollars. I mean, even corporations like Target, because I've filled out applications for them. And what there is that they get tax write-offs for black for, for for poor people. I mean, when they give a poor person a job, like a poor black person a job, they get a tax write-off for that. They don't that that the salary costs them nothing. And when black people start doing for self, guess what? Your competition, you're gonna cost them money, you're a threat to them. And they're trying to, de to demonize men like Bill Cosby because they don't want black people to do for self because the white liberal makes his entire, he makes all his money, these foreign owned stores make all their money off of the poverty of black people. Black people's poverty is a cash cow for millions of people across this country. And black people don't understand that. And they don't understand that they'll try to demonize anyone who speaks a, a, for a, the message of doing for self and empowering self. They want the black man and the black woman to be codependent on white supremacy. And sadly, a lot of us out here are codependent on white supremacy. And we don't feel comfortable unless we're depending on somebody's giving somebody's crumbs instead of learning how to make our own cakes. And this this is this is where we, 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 we and I look at this, it's just disturbing to me. And what's even more disturbing is that we have all these people trying to demonize Bill Cosby, but the same news media will take a pedophile like a Stephen Collins and make him make it look like he was so innocent. I mean, here was a grown man who took a 10-year-old girl and put her hand on his genitals. And they're trying to make it look like it's harmless, like he's getting help and he's so innocent. This man is a child molester. He's a psychopath. And the same to my, and then the same thing with Woody Allen, another one. You have people like Matt Damon saying they want to work with Woody Allen. You have so many white people saying they want to work with Woody Allen. This is another pedophile. And a man who has openly molested his own adopted daughter and had children with her. Another, and, he met, and he molested another one of his daughters. He molested all of his children. Yet people acclaim this man and praise him. And they'll demonize Bill Cosby on for for having for having an affair with the side pieces, but they'll they'll all look at the other way. It's just like in the Bible they say that you strain at a gnat, but you swallow a camel. And this is what we have right here with this whole Bill Cosby situation. I mean, what Bill Cosby did was no different from what Tiger Woods did, or any other guy out here um, who has committed adultery has done. 
Um, to say that he's a rapist and a monster, just like they did with Tiger Woods, they also tried to turn Tiger Woods into a brute. And the reason why they wanted to turn Tiger Woods into a brute was because not because he had lots of women on the side. It was because he was going to become a billionaire. Again, everything ties to economics. Tiger Woods was on his way to becoming a billion-dollar man. He was got to become a billionaire. They didn't like the idea of a black man being a billionaire, so they came out with these allegations, you know, and and brought all this stuff out on him because they did not want him to have wealth. The whole idea of a black man having economic power scares white supremacy, and having representatives of black men who have economic power, such as the Bill Cosby or Tiger Woods, this scares white supremacy because they know that if there's more if black men like this. They're going to have to compete with these black men. And when they have to compete with these black men, a lot of these white guys are mediocre. And they, they, they know that if there was no real competition out there, they would, if there, wasn't, if there was black competition out there, they wouldn't survive. And so they try to do everything to neutralize the competition. So they try to take out guys like Bill Cosby and Tiger Woods and stop them from being representatives of what black manhood is. And they don't want black men to start competing on an economic level because if black men start showing themselves to be superior in the way that they are in entertainment and in sports on, in a, on a business perspective, then white supremacy is in trouble. Because if you have to compete with black men on that level and they're that good, it's a scary situation for them. And a lot of these guys with the white privilege know that they're mediocre. They know that they're not that great. So they have to come out with ways to demonize men such as Bill Cosby or Tiger Woods, or, or any black man who's a, an achiever. And when I look at the whole Bill Cosby situation, the reason why I had to do part two to this video, because I look at the contributions this man has made, and that's one of the reasons why I support him. And I support him because he's a black man, and he has made he, he hasn't done any of this stuff as I look at it. I look at the evidence, and he hasn't done any of this stuff. And it really, it really sounds like sour grapes, because if you know Hollywood like I know it, um... It sounds like sour grapes from Vic, from females who decided to use the casting couch for leverage, and it didn't work the way they thought it would. They didn't want to go out to the D agents and work their way up to the A. They didn't want to go out here and take the acting classes, and everything just fell off for them, and this is why they're bitter. They know that there's no more simps. I mean, once you get past, I say, about 45, 50, you know that there's no more simps for you to, to trick on you, and now you're looking for one last big payday to take care of yourself because this is how women like this got by they used they used they were the side piece of guys like Sammy Davis Jr or they used guys like Bill Cosby just like Kareem Stevens they were, they were the Kareem Stevens of their day and black men this is how they use black they used men like tools and this is what happens and i look at bill cosby and all he's done for black people and he deserves more support than what he's getting. I mean, I, he has done more than our Ice Cubes, our Dr. Dre's, and our Snoop Dogs. And these guys, again, have done next to nothing for black people, but yet black people will support them. They, all they have done is perpetuate the worst stereotypes about black men, but yet black people will support them. But Bill Cosby, who has done more for black people, I mean, literally created... So many positive things for black people, but yet black people will sit there and say, speak against him. I can't do that. I can't do that looking at his body of work, his legacy. I mean, I look at, I mean, to, to, to um, attack Bill Cosby for, for, the, for these type of allegations would be like attacking Dr. Martin Luther King. And Dr. Martin Luther King had his fair share of adulterous relationships. I mean, he liked the light-skinned prostitutes. This is this is just, this is historical fact, but still we look at Dr. Martin Luther King the same, as as some sort of saint, but when we don't look at Bill Cosby in the same way, and I look at Bill Cosby and all he has done, and he deserves better than what he's gotten from the black community. Um, I just felt I had to make this video because I just want to show my support for him. And I'm looking at the facts, I'm looking at the allegations, and I don't believe any of them. And as a guy who's, who's studied the entertainment industry since he was seven years old and understands how the business works, again, just sounds like some sour grapes from 
females who thought that they could use sex as a tool to get leverage with with Bill with a, with a celebrity in the hopes of getting work, not understanding that you're going to have to go through these auditions, you're going to have to get roasted, and it's not going to be a pretty situation. And I think the liberals are going against him again because he came out here with this come on people message. He's trying to get black people to do for self. And a lot of them don't want black people to do for self because they're making a bunch of money off of black people and making the money off black, black poverty. Black poverty, a lot of black people don't understand, is a billion dollar business. Um, again, I worked in nonprofit. I've seen the grants. It's, it's a billion dollar business. The second biggest business to black poverty is education. That's another grant money hustle. And I need to do a video about the grant money hustle because if you understood the grant money hustle, a lot of these grant grant makers, they use the grant system to get to, to, to shelter tax money and they use the grants as a way to get tax write-offs. And this is how they keep from having to pay high tax bills. And they use black people to get that to get those type of tax write-offs because if black people start again if black people start doing for self they lose the entire economic system gets upheaved and this is something they don't want to see happen the grant money hustle and this is what they don't like people listening to people like Bill Cosby or Charles Barkley they don't want people listening to them because their economic way of life totally gets disrupted that means no no vacations no side pieces no no champagne and caviar that means they're going to have to actually get out and grind and compete with everybody else and they're going to have to step up and mediocre white people are going to be forced to step up and that's something they don't want to do and that's why they don't want people listening to a bill cosby that's why they want to demonize bill cosby and that's why they want to turn him into a brute because if they feel if they, white supremacy feels if they destroy bill cosby they can continue to benefit from the 97 percent of black dollars that they get every year, the 3.3 trillion in cash and credit that they get, and keep that flow of money coming back to them and keep it in their pockets. That's all I have to say for this video. If you comment, rate, and subscribe.